chilling new development in that shooting at Florida State University. This evening, authorities are now chasing down packages sent by the gunman before the rampage. A hail of gunfire, students huddled in that library this week. Tonight, some of those packages already intercepted. What was inside? ABC's Ryan Owens back on the story tonight. Shooting. Just two days after shooting three and terrorizing hundreds of students at Florida State University's library, it turns out Myron May wasn't done. Tonight, nearly 48 hours after the 31-year-old lawyer was killed by police, the FBI is scrambling to intercept at least eight packages he mailed to friends. So far, they've tracked down at least three of them to North Carolina, Texas, and Virginia. That's where Joe Paul lives, a former classmate of Mays at FSU. He says the shooter contacted him on Facebook last week asking for his address. We sent him our mailing address, uh, thinking it was maybe a, a, a wedding invitation. Just hours before the shooting, he says May contacted him again, telling him the package would arrive today. He asked for our information because maybe he was sending us a manifesto. Authorities won't say exactly what's in the packages, only that they are not a danger to the public. Police here in Florida suspect he was mailing writings and videos, claiming the government had been tracking him. Police say those rambling journals and videos don't provide much of a motive, at least not one that makes any sense. So while the library behind me tonight is open, the question of why this happened is still far from closed.